My name is Maryam Khalepiyaz. I'm from Iran and right now I live in Minnesota as an assistant professor of graphic design. I have a graphic design background and I still work and teach graphic design. So I must know about digital things. So my main source of inspiration, uh, I can say that is the environment that I live as an immigrant. So when um, I started my migration from Iran to uh, United States Ohio University. I found that I should talk about my experience as an immigrant. I started to learn some new technologies like animation because animation completely fits this experience. Animation moves and immigrants moves as well. The title of my work is Living in Between Future. This is about the future of immigrants because I'm an immigrant. I have created a large animation, including some small GIFs and some static illustrations and some description underneath each GIF and illustration. So audiences should um, scan the QR codes, see the numbers, follow the numbers on the wall to find out their fortune as an immigrant. I didn't have a lot of time, so for this work, I spent about two weeks, 24 hours working. So I slept in a studio <laughs> when I was designing my work. <laughs> I always start by sketching my works with hands and after that, um, combine them with digital technologies. So I can say that my works inspire from both digital and handmade work. I can say that this is the most exciting opportunity that um, I have had here to show my work. My name is Kelly Lee Swearingen. My name is Scott Swearingen. It's, it's called The Woods, that's the title, and it's a cooperative two-player um, mixed reality game. It requires two people to play, and it uses augmented reality and four-channel spatialization. One of those things that we really um, wanted from our project is that uh, people feel connected working you know toward a goal together games are experiences that can't be done by yourself they can't be done alone it requires another person to be a part of it, it it's it's always been so important to us that our work has both this uh, digital and physical quality to it, it has this um, almost all the work that we do initially coming to currents uh, in-person exhibition I think I was so thrilled. This is uh, like literally for the first time that we're showing something in person in years. I feel like. A year and a half at least. Yeah. I mean it's been so, everyone's been so busy and there's been so much excitement in the air. It's like electric around here. I can't wait to see I all know. the rest of so the excited. show. It wasn't until I found interactive art that I found a process that I love. When I was 35, I started to do interactivity, and holy hell's bells, that was what it's all about. Where the art is for me is, is the curiosity of the people. Like, that's my artist 
mission to create situations that foster curiosity. I, I like to try to take digital and physical things and bring them together. Universal design is this idea that um, you develop for people regardless of their height, age, ability, um, accessibility situation, their background, how they were brought up, where they're from. And the idea is that more that more people that can use something, the more the better it is for everyone involved. The piece that I have going on here at Currents is called Dreamscapes. Um, it's actually a series of tests. So there's four visual tests, um, and I did them while developing a piece for the uh, Children's Museum of Pittsburgh. Right now, it's a floor projection. Um, it's usually a wall touch projection, but because of COVID, we're trying to make it a little less touch, a little safer. And so this is the first time I've done a floor projection. Where I find the joy in my work is the process. So in Dream Dreamscapes, it's cool that I get to put process pieces up. Um, they're all kind of rough around the edge, unfinished pieces. Um, but I think that is endearing in a way to the people who interact. It feels like Every time I put up a piece, I'm, I'm learning something for the next piece that I developed. For me, the joy is in the, in the learning and figuring out of an interactive art piece, not in the final putting it up. Everything we do as a human being it reflects the way we feel, reflects the things we think, reflects the things that bring us joy, it reflects our fears. So it all, it all goes into our work. Whether you see it exactly or not, no matter what I think and put into a piece, every human being who comes into contact with art is bringing their own baggage with them. They're bringing their own world with them. Things like Currents, and when I discovered Currents, I discovered it through the internet as we discover everything now. Currents is a place that says, we're gonna put it up. We're gonna bring you out here. We're gonna put you in a hotel. Um, we like what you're doing and we're going to invest in what you're doing. Frank and Mariana, when you talk to them on the phone and talk about your pieces, they don't ask you, can you make sure it runs? They ask you, how did you get that to work? Or what did you do to like make this thing do this? And you can see the joy in them wanting to share in it and share it out when they see they see value in it. And that's and that means a lot. I'm honored to be here. Glad to be here. It's really cool.